This is my first video lesson for Unit 13, Assets and Bases. In this lesson, we'll be describing properties and rules and theories of assets and bases. Go to page 3 in the class packet. You can download the class packet on my website. Motivation, take a moment to read the passage. Learning target. At the end of the lesson, I will be able to describe properties, naming rules, and theories about assets and bases. Won't be number one, which be a junipod based on this lesson. This is the passage in page three. Assets and bases are everywhere. Some foods contain acid, like citric acid in lemons and lactic acid in dairy. Cleaning products like bleach and ammonium are bases. Chemicals that are acidic or basic are an important part of chemistry. Acid and bases are defined based on how they act and their properties. There are three theories that attempt to define what exactly is an acid or base. The properties of an acid or base are caused by ions when they form in water. Due to the presence of mobile ions, aqueous solutions of both acids and bases conduct electricity. What do we call this type of substance? We call it an electrolyte. What is another type of substance that behaves in a similar fashion? Ionic compounds. They are also electrolytes when dissolved in water. Acids and bases react with each other to form salt and water. What is a salt? A salt is an ionic compound. In chemistry, why is a hydrogen cation or H plus ion also known as a proton? Prove it. A typical hydrogen atom only has a proton and electron. So when it loses an electron to become a hydrogen plus ion, it only has a proton. Therefore, a hydrogen cation is also known as a proton. Acid characteristics are caused by hydronium ions and base characteristics are caused by hydroxide ions. From the previous units, what are hydronium and hydroxide? They are polyatomic ions. Where do we find the formula of hydronium and hydroxide? Table E. Chemical formula of hydroxide is OH minus, and here's the Lewis dot diagram of hydroxide. The chemical formula of hydronium is H3O plus, and here is the Lewis dot diagram of hydronium. Hydronium can also be written as H plus aqueous because when a hydrogen ion combines with a water molecule, you get hydronium ion. Acids increase the hydronium ion concentration of water. Acids have a pH below 7. They also taste sour, the taste of hydronium, since acids are polar molecules with hydrogen, they react with active metals to release hydrogen. This single replacement reaction is responsible for the fact that acids corrode metals. Acids can be used to clean metals. We did this reaction in labs before. Here were the two reactions that we did in labs. Zinc and magnesium were metals. HCl is an acid. And when they react, they produce hydrogen gas. Complete the single replacement reaction below. Here we have aluminum, which is a metal, reacting with HCl, which is an acid. So this will produce hydrogen gas as well. Here's a GIF of the reaction. HCl is reacting with the can, which is made up of aluminum, producing hydrogen gas. Acids also react with carbonates to form water, carbon dioxide, and salt. What is the formula of carbonates? It is CO3 minus 2 is on table E. Complete the equation. We did this in lab as well. H2SO4 aqueous is sulfuric acid and is reacting with calcium carbonate to produce water, CO2, and calcium sulfate. This reaction represents when acid rain reacts with a marble statue. Indicators, which are substances that react with acids or bases to show a definite color change, are used to distinguish between them. Here are some examples of indicators that we have used in the past and will use in the future. Here's litmus paper, the universal indicator, and phenolphthalein. Let's summarize the properties of acids and bases that we discussed. Acids and bases have high polarity and they both consider electrolytes. When an acid is dissolved in water, the ion's form is H plus aqueous or hydronium. For a base, it is hydroxide. Both these ions can be found on table E in your reference table. Acids taste sour, like citric acid in lemons, and they have a burning feeling. Acids have a pH less than 7, 
And here are the reactions that acids can do. When acid reacts with metal, they give hydrogen gas. Acids react with base to give you salt and water. And acids counteract the properties of a base. A base, on the other hand, tastes bitter, have a slippery feeling, and have a pH greater than 7. Both acids and bases change color in the presence of an indicator. Here are some reactions that a base can perform. Base can perform saphonification, which is a reaction making soap. We will discuss this later in organic chemistry unit. Base can react with acids to give you salt and water, and base counteracts the property of an acid. There are three theories that identifies and explains the property of an acid and base. The Arrhenius theory, the bronston lowry theory, and the Lewis theory. The Arrhenius and bronston lowry theory are on the regions, while the Lewis theory is not on the regions. Here are the three points of the Arrhenius theory. The first point is that acids form hydrogen ions in aqueous solutions. Here is an example. HCl, which is an acid when it dissolves in water, produces H plus ions. The second point is that base form hydroxide ions in aqueous solution. NaOH is a base when it dissolves in water, produces hydroxide ions. The third point is when acids and bases react, they form water and salt. So here we have HCl and NaOH reacting to form water and salt. Here are three limitations of the Arrhenius theory. The Arrhenius theory cannot identify an acid or base if there is no ion formation in a nonpolar solvent. In addition, it cannot explain acidic and basic salts and if a base does not have hydroxides. Learning check number one. When dissolved in water, an Arrhenius base yields what? Pause the video and resume as completed. The answer is choice three, hydroxide ions. Learning check number two. According to Arrhenius theory, a base reacts with an acid to produce what? Pause the video and resume as completed. The answer is choice four, water and salt. The second theory is the bronston lowry theory. Sometimes on the regions, they call it the alternative acid and base theory. There are two points in this theory. In the first point, acids donate or lose hydrogen ions. In this example, HCl is an acid. As, as you can see in this equation, HCl donates a hydrogen ion to water forming hydronium. In the second point, base gains or takes hydrogen ions. In this equation, Cn- minus is a base, and in the equation, it takes a hydrogen ion from water. One limitation of the bronston lowry theory is that it cannot identify the acid or base if it does not have a hydrogen. Learning check number three. One alternative acid-base theory states that an acid is a what? Pause the video and resume as completed. The answer is choice one, H plus donor. Learning check number four. According to the acid base theory, ammonium is acting as a what? Pause the video and resume as completed. Ammonium is NH3. In this equation, it takes a hydrogen ion from H2CO3. Therefore, it is a base. The answer is choice three. The last theory that we're going to discuss is the Lewis theory, which is a theory based on the substances with no need for hydrogen atoms and solvents. Here are the two points, acids gain electrons or accept electron pairs. This is because acids typically have an empty orbital or a positive charge. Base, on the other hand, donates electron pairs. This is because bases typically have a lone pair or a negative charge. Here's an example of a Lewis base, NH3, reacting with BF3, which is a Lewis acid. So in summary, the Arrhenius definition of an acid is that acid produces H plus and H3 ions in aqueous solutions, and for a base, it produces hydroxide ions in aqueous solution. For bronston lowry theory, the acid donates or loses H plus ions, while a base gains or takes H plus ions. In the Lewis theory, the acid gains or accepts electron pairs, while the base loses or donates electron pairs. Keep in mind, each of these theories tries to explain what is an acid or a base. 
There is no contradiction or conflicts between the fairies. They support one another. A list of asses can be found on table K in your reference table, and a list of bases can be found on table L on the reference table. So here is the completed table of the properties of asses and bases, uses the study for the exam and for the regions. Using table K and table L, identify the pattern in chemical formulas and the names of asses and bases. Usually, for chemical formulas, acids start with H, while base ends with OH. Do HCl gas and HCl aqueous have the same chemical names? The answer is no, because they have different properties. HCl aqueous is considered an acid, but HCl gas is not. An analogy to this will be Kool-Aid. The powder has different property than the solution. Learning check number five. Which substance is arrhenius acid? Pause the video and resume as completed. This arrhenius acid is not on the reference table, but we can still figure it out. The chemical formula of acids typically have H in front, so the answer is choice two, HBr. Now we can get into the rules of maiming acids. By looking at table K, rule number one in maiming acids is that all mames have the word acid at the end. Let's first go over binary acids. Bi means two. Binary acids consist of two elements, hydrogen and another element. The chemical formula is HX. X is a halide, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. An example of a binary acid is HCl aqueous. The name is hydrochloric acid. Using table K, we can figure out the rules. We first change the anion IDE suffix to IC, then we add a hydro prefix. In HCl aqueous, the anion is chloride. We change it to chloric, and we add a hydro in front of it, and then we add the acid to become hydrochloric acid. Here's a catchphrase to help you memorize this. My ride has hydraulics. So HCl by itself is not considered an acid. This is hydrogen chloride. If HCl is dissolved in water, it is considered an acid. This is hydrochloric acid. HBr aqueous is also an acid, but is not on table K, but we can figure it out. This is hydrobromic acid. Learning check number six. What is the chemical name of H2S aqueous? Pause the video and resume as completed. This is considered an acid. You change the sulfide to sulfuric and you add a hydro in front of it. So the answer is choice two, hydrosulfuric acid. The next type of acids are oxyacids, which consists of H plus ions and polyatomic ions, which have hydrogen atoms. Here's the chemical formula, H, X, and O, a, B, and C are subscripts. If the polyatomic ion has an H suffix, you change it to ic. If the polyatomic ion has an ite suffix, you change it to os. Here are some catchphrases to help you memorize this. I ate something icky. Sprite is delicious. Let's look at some examples. HNO2 aqueous has the polyatomic ion NO2, which has the suffix ite. You change it to os, and the acid name is nitrous acid. H2SO4 aqueous has the polyatomic ion SO4, which has the H suffix. You change it to ic, and this becomes sulfuric acid. It is not sulfuric acid. This is wrong. This is because the root for sulfur-containing ion is sulfur instead of soap. The same is true for phosphorus-containing ion. The root is phosphor instead of simply false. Learning check number seven. What is the chemical name of H3PO4 aqueous? Pause the video and resume as completed. PO4 is the polyatomic ion phosphate. You change the ending to ic, so the answer is choice three, phosphoric acid. Here is a concept map to summarize the rules of maming acids. For maming bases, here are the rules. Ionic bases have the same rules for ionic compounds. Generally, is metal first, then the hydroxide ion. So NaOH becomes sodium hydroxide. On table L, it gives you some examples of common bases. Keep in mind, NH3 is a covalent compound, and NH3 aqueous is known as aqueous ammonia. Try to do practice one and two on your own. Pause the video and resume as completed. 
Here are the answers. This concludes the video lesson. Remember to do the Junipod homework.